You've heard the word a million times. Cholesterol. It's the villain in every health story, right? The greasy bad guy lurking in your favorite foods just waiting to clog your arteries. But what if I told you that cholesterol isn't the enemy? What if the real story is more like a traffic control problem inside your body? Let's break it down. Cholesterol itself is actually essential for life. It's a waxy, fat-like substance that your body needs to build healthy cells, produce hormones like testosterone and estrogen, and even make vitamin D from sunlight. It's not poison, it's a building block. So if it's so important, why does it have such a bad reputation? It all comes down to how it gets around. See, cholesterol can't just float through your bloodstream on its own. It needs a ride. Think of it like a passenger that needs a car. These cars are called lipoproteins. And this is where we meet our two main characters, the bad and the good. I, first up, LDL or low-density lipoprotein. I want you to picture LDL as a fleet of pizza delivery trucks. Their job is to deliver cholesterol to all the cells in your body that need it. Super important, right? The problem starts when you have way too many delivery trucks on the road. They start getting stuck, dropping pizzas everywhere and basically making a huge mess in the streets. In your body, excess LDL can deposit cholesterol in your arteries, forming hard plaques. This is what narrows your arteries and leads to serious problems. That's why we call it bad cholesterol. But don't worry, we have a hero in this story. HDL or high-density lipoprotein. If LDLs are messy delivery trucks, then HDLs are the city's super-efficient garbage trucks. Their job is to cruise through your bloodstream, pick up all that excess, leftover cholesterol from your arteries and tissues, and haul it back to the liver to be disposed of. That's why we call it good cholesterol. It's the cleanup crew. So you see, it's not about getting rid of cholesterol entirely. It's about balance. It's about the ratio. You need enough delivery trucks to keep your cells happy but you also need a strong cleanup crew to keep the streets clear. When you have too many LDLs and not enough HDLs, you get a traffic jam in your arteries. And modern science is showing us it's even more nuanced than that. It's not just about the amount of LDL, but also the type and size of the LDL particles, and whether there's inflammation, which is like having potholes in the road that make accidents more likely. So how do you manage this internal traffic system? It's the stuff you've heard before, but now you know why it works. Swap out those trans fats for healthy fats found in avocados, nuts, and olive oil. Get moving. Exercise has proven to boost your HDL, your cleanup crew. And of course, avoid smoking, as it damages your artery walls and makes it easier for that bad LDL to stick. The bottom line is this. Stop thinking of cholesterol as a villain you need to destroy. Start thinking of it as a busy city you need to manage. Your health depends not on eliminating traffic, but on keeping it flowing smoothly. It's all about that beautiful life-saving balance.